Hi. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. Sorry, just passing through. Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this branch and I can't reach back that far! What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last week. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. No way. Well, you hang in there, kid. My underwear, it's on the branch. Can you unhook it, please? Unhook my underwear? Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here and h help me. Hey! Great! Now let me just climb under your shoulders. Quit it! And I thought I was clumsy. Hello! This day could not get any worse. Hey, what? What the? Would you mind dropping me off at the arcade?
Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? Boy, is this thing heavy. Now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything, really. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud shoes on. Good birdie. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Light offering. Harmony will be pleased. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. There. Don't you feel lighter already? Fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Marylon forever. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Can you help me kill Mog Chathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oh. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? Everyone would leave? What? No! Maryloft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But no. I could go kill Mogchathra? What an offensive idea. No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoops of Birdie Network to make escape. I mean, <clears throat> unenlightenment impossible. Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Why are you up here so high? 
I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Or for there. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. Knock it off! Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh! That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird! This is all your fault! Carl was right. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. bird. Like I even need hooks now. Aha! Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me. Your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your come up and on second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. Haven't you heard Harmony's teachings about lightness yet? Um, hang on. Before you get on that ladder, I need to think about this cloud's weight limits. Hmm. Million pounds per square inch and buoyancy. Hey, Father. Father. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Uh, last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. I'll let you get back to work. Go in lightness, my friend. Bombs away! Hang on. Don't move. Bombs? Uh? How shiny the sun is. That's the second hole I've put in this cabin so far.
Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great! Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? A weapon to kill Mogchathra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm, yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Will you help me kill Mogchathra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Mogchathra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Mogchathra. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. Hey, here's some wood. That wood is playing a vital security function where it is. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. They were looking at me. You ripped the trees out of this painting, too? Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, too? okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm, they don't seem too chatty to me. Sun. Especially not a vintage. I don't need a ladder hanging off of me. Uh, 
Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. I have a feeling I might regret this. Okay, look, I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Please don't scream anymore! You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! I'm here on behalf of Curtis the Lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her. Turned her into a... A stool. Oh, oh God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchathra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding, murderous humans. So get lost. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. <laughs> 